Good morning. Something very different today. I'm at the National Star Centre. With part of their charity drive, opened a little nine-hole course here to gain some uh, income. Now I drove past this for some considerable time going to Lillybrook and I kept meaning to stop. Well finally I've stopped. Nine holes, 12 pounds and you get to go round twice. Well it is a nine hole but then again it's not. Each tee has got two tee boxes and there are two greens. First we play to the red greens and then when we go around again we switch to the different tee box and play to the blue flags. Now you might be wondering what on earth am I doing on a little course like this? Well, I wish I had this available to me when I was about 13 or 14. I'm absolutely certain I would have been a better golfer much quicker. But everybody can learn something off a course like this, especially as a beginner. Learning how to hit the ball, learning your chipping, your putting, and a little bit of discipline, especially on these tighter holes. The only par four on the course, just gonna take a six iron and go over the left edge of that tree. And that is absolutely perfect. When you play courses like this you find the greens are very much on the small side and that's a good thing. Less maintenance, less pesticides, less fertilizer, less fungicide, less top dressing which means a lower green fee. Plus you get the chance to learn how to chip, chip and runs, flying it through the air with a sand wedge and you can mix and match Played the odd holes along the ground, played the even holes through the air. This is where you learn your trade, isn't it? And boy, as I say, I wish I had something like this when I was 13 or 14. As pitching wedges go, that is absolutely disgusting. I think because I was trying to ease back on it, I didn't hit it properly at all. Good job I can pitch. The rain's arrived. You know, these small greens really do focus the mind on your chipping. Yeah, this place is rather nice, isn't it? All these trees. Yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to holes over there and over there and I just, I can't wait to get to them. Well, at least I missed the bunker. I'm about halfway between the two greens. Just did not get the little draw on that eight iron that I was after. Never mind.
Well, the sun is paying us a visit. Thank goodness. I thought it was just gonna spoil itself there and rain all day. Do you know what? This could be an ideal course for me when I get old and gray. Neville, not a word, not a word. Now I've got a new hybrid, 19 degrees, just like the last one. Shaft is about 10 grams heavier. This thing goes like a bullet. So it's getting a bit too close to how far my five wood goes. So I think, especially after this round, I'm gonna add one degree to the loft, get a little more height and a little more backspin. Cocked up the recording here, 173, five iron, and I hit a very ugly slice after a very long wait. I've left myself 30 yards up this hill. And it's funny, with these small greens, you can be nine feet short and off the green. Well, maybe that was more than nine feet. Ninth hole, and then we're round to the blues. I'm just not hitting it well at the moment. Oh, me. Right then, a par, finally. I think I only made four pars there. So much for me being a five or six handicap. Right, so I've played the red greens. I'm now gonna to play to the blue greens. It's a bit longer. It's the nine that the members prefer because it stretches them a bit more. Yes, you can be a member here and get a handicap here and take part in competitions here. And it's such a pretty little course. I, I love this. Now on this nine, I'm going to chip with a nine iron or a pitching wedge. And I will be landing the ball long before the green. And if anybody tells you that when you chip, you're supposed to land the ball on the green, then you've got my permission to wrap them on the ankle with your nine iron. You never have to land on the green. It is not compulsory at all. And to be fair, with the size of these greens, and the flag only just being on them because they're so small, you don't want to land on the green much anyway. See, short again, not the greatest chip. Could have done much better than that. But a par anyway. Again, I've tugged it away to the left a bit. Don't seem to get a feel for the wind. Another nine iron, land it short. Perfect. I mean, look how close to the edge it is. Could I have got it there with a sand wedge? And the answer is no. Now, although this is a par three course with the the one par four. I've used every club in the bag from the sand wedge to the hybrid. So it's testing everything about your game.
this little course and the little greens. I'll tell you one thing for free. This has got to be the most fun I've had on a golf course in ages. And it's so pretty. Greenkeeper's doing his rounds, mowing a bit of grass, so we'll just hang on here for five or ten minutes until he's gone. Three holes to go. I had to add up there. 